Now this is a typical car cigarette lighter charger, uh, rather not a charger, a power device that gives 5 volts USB. I think this came with my old, very old uh, GPS device. It stopped working after a while. I have a few of these. Uh, one is uh, this one here. You know, typically I think uh, they use either an LM317, which is a linear regulator. That's a very simple one. I think this one probably uses that. I don't think this even has a fuse. I have not opened it. I need to check. Whereas this one comes with a fuse and these are all the components. Uh, I actually dismantled it. There are no screws. I had to just pry it open carefully. No breakages. Opened it. But this one was so dirty. I actually uh, let it sit in uh, uh, soap water for some time. And that caused all this uh, white discoloration. Actually, I tried to clean it again. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me, cosmetic. But as you can see, the input is uh, 12 to 24 volts DC and output is uh, 5 volts at 1 ampere. That 1 ampere is questionable anyway, but that's how it is. And the fuse, however, they have used a 2 ampere fuse, uh, which comes right in the beginning here, uh, at the where it meets with the lighter socket. And uh, one quick inspection here, of course, I even uh, let this PCB also sit in soap water for some time and then rinsed it with clean water and then let it dry. Just wanted to remove all the muck. Now, I have a feeling uh, visually this capacitor seems to have, you know, given way. It is bulged and that, that is one. And number two, the fuse is intact. The fuse is working. So which mean, which suggests that probably the, the switching, reg, uh, switching IC that is used in this is uh, buckling at the output, probably because of a short in this capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. I'll remove this and see if it works. And uh, this one is probably an MC34063, which is a buck and boost switching uh, IC. In this case, they have used it as a buck. I think it is an MC34063 uh, going by the circuit pattern, the tracks. I compared it with a typical uh, circuit. And uh, so that's how I assumed that this is an MC34063. But then we also have LM2596, which is also quite popular among even hobbyists. That's a switching buck converter. So that's a buck converter, whereas I believe this is a buck and boost. But in this case, it is just a buck. So let me see how it goes. I'll remove this and then if needed, replace and then check the output. Right now, there is no output, but the fuse is intact. Here is the schematic diagram from the data sheet of an MC34063 buck converter from 12 volts to 5 volts USB power. Now here is a close-up view of the track side, uh, the sides you can see. They have put some glue there on, you know, just to secure this uh, inductor. Now, this is the capacitor. You can see the from the side profile, you can see the bulge here. So that's a 470 microfarad. That's in the output. I have removed the, I have desoldered the 470 microfarad capacitor from here and I cleaned the pads using a solder wick and this is how it is here as expected. Now this is the bulge. Uh, using standard practice I tried to remove it and without any force one lead actually came off the capacitor. So the negative lead is okay, that is to the can and you can see here very clearly the positive lead just came off. I am giving a supply of, uh, as you can see, 14 volts supply and when I measure the output, now here is the capacitor, I don't think you can see that, this is the capacitor that was removed at the output, so I will measure at the output and it is giving 13.99 volt. It appears as though the entire input is coming as uh, to the output. And also I checked on pin 2 of this IC for uh, 
the PCM, uh, there is nothing. So I think the two transistors inside are shorted. So the input is appearing on the output and I don't see any oscillations at all. That means this IC is not working. Uh, I'll see if I have it in my collection. I doubt I have a dip, 8 pin uh, through hole dip. Probably I have an SOIC. Just because uh, as, a, as a curiosity and as an experiment, it may not be economical at all to replace this IC on a one-off uh, board. I managed to use a heat gun to heat up the epoxy used here and then peeled off the inductor from top of this IC. I removed the IC by cutting off the leads. I think that is an easy way out because sometimes uh, desoldering something can you know remove the pads so this is the easiest way. In any case it is a confirmed uh, defective IC. All the leads have been removed now desoldered and cleaned the pads cleaned this is the old IC and uh, ready for soldering the new IC. I managed to source a plastic 8 pin dip IC can see the number here but it's a KA34063A I think this is from on semi whereas the original part MC I believe that's from TI I will install the the capacitor that's uh, removed 470 microfarads later I'll first install the IC test it at pin number 2 for the uh, switching uh, waveform confirm that it is working and then uh, install the uh, capacitor. The new IC is now soldered. I have not yet cleaned it. I'll clean it later. So this is where the pads were. I have now given a power supply of about 14 volts. Let me check. Yeah, 14.08. Let me check at the output pin number 2. It's 10.9. But the capacitor is not there. Earlier if you recall, with the old IC, the defective IC, the output was the same as the input. Now it is 10.89 and the input is once again 14.06. So now I'll check the uh, switching uh, waveform on pin number uh, 2. Now I'm measuring at pin 2 without the capacitor and I'll show you the oscilloscope uh, waveform, the switching waveform. You can see RMS value is 1.8 volt. But then uh, it's not really an RMS value. I'm going to put the capacitor and then check because the frequency is not referenced. Switching frequency is 71.8 kilohertz. You can see that. You can see the waveform. And uh, now I'll put the capacitor and then see what the DC output voltage is. And here is the uh, analog waveform of the switching. Uh, at the output of pin number 2. This is how it is switching. Well, unfortunately, I do not have a 470 microfarad at something around 12 volts, <coughs> although it is only at 5 here, at this position here. All I have in my collection is a 100 microfarad, 25 volt. So I'll temporarily install this just to measure and then when I get the proper uh, value, I'll replace this capacitor. Now I have connected a capacitor. You can see it. Uh, since this is uh, not the exact value that's required, that was required, I have temporarily installed it with long leads. I'm going to replace it later. This is just for testing. Again, uh, the input now is, uh, you can see it's 14.04 uh, volts. And output at pin number two, now with the capacitor, filter capacitor, it is 5.19 volt. That is what is required for our USB output. So now let us see if there is any ripple, the switching uh, waveform ripple at the output, the, the same output here. 
Again, checking the uh, output at pin number 2 on an oscilloscope. Unfortunately, I am not able to resolve. But as you can see, the division is a 20 millivolt per division. And uh, that's the ripple that I am getting. So, that way this, this repair has been a success. Replacing the main IC, the uh, buck converter IC. Thank you for watching.